What's going on everybody? My name is CJ and welcome back to another reaction video. Tonight I'm going to be reacting to Falling in Reverse. I'm not a vampire. I was going to do that, but then I realized there's two versions. So I'm going to be reacting to both of them tonight. First, the original I'm not a vampire, and then the revamp version right after. In between, I'm going to, to do a reaction, like a review for the first one, and then I'm going to react, and then a second review, and then maybe at the end, I might compare the two, and blah, blah, blah. So other than that, let's get into this video. So how did you end up in rehab? Tell me a little bit about it, and you'll talk to me. Oh, really? Oh. Um, I'm in here. It was a little bit of a misunderstanding. I'm not an addict. I just came here looking for some friends. I have no idea why I'm here. <laughs> no idea why I'm Oh my god. Look at them. That's 2000 right there. Okay. Okay, I didn't want. I, I I was waiting for the uh the chorus part then, dude. This like so I I love falling in reverse, but can I really say that at the same time? Like I've only listened to a handful of their songs, but from the songs I've listened to, I loved. I love Ronnie's voice. I love what he did in the um, reimagine of uh, fucking uh, Last Resort. Like he, he's great. All right, I I just I've never really heard I've heard him. I've only heard, like, one or two songs from this era of Ronnie. Um, and so far, it's fantastic. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Um, is there anything else? Nope. Oh. That's what I'm going to say. The riff for the chorus, like the doom, 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 it's not necessarily, I mean, I don't know, I'm not a guitarist, but from what I could tell, it doesn't seem like the most complicated riff. But something about it is just like uh, chef's kiss, you know? It's like a fucking walking song. It's like a walking song. Fucking 
<laughs> just like, the fuck is wrong? Dude? That's me and yoga. I've tried to do yoga, and it's like, I can't do it. <laughs> you know, we we kind of click. We are cut from the same paisley cloth, my friend. He's a rocker. I know he can. <laughs> Ronnie and I are pretty good friends. You know, we were cellies back in prison. I think Ronnie's. <laughs> he's a he's a party animal. You've had a good time. You know that. <sighs> and you know something, God, when all the little babies come down the ramp, he stamps the ones that are are his precious little special babies, and Ronnie's got the, the cleft. Well, as soon as I saw that, that was it. So that was the original I'm Not a Vampire. Okay, so I won't lie to you. I have technically heard this before, not but not really actually listened to it. It was more in passing. So I, like, I heard it, but I wasn't paying attention to the song. It was kind of just like noise in the background. Um, so, like, from what I remembered, I didn't necessarily feel all that into it, but that also has to do, there was a bunch of other stuff going on. But now that I'm actually here to sit down and listen to it, shit slap. What can I say? That was fucking, that, wh that that's falling in reverse. I, I, <laughs> see, I, it's just funny to me, because seeing, I've seen, I know what Ronnie looks like now. All right, he's got the long, long, long hair, it's straightened down, and then, it, <laughs> Than just seeing him now, and seeing him back then with like the fucking, the the emo like old Ronnie emo hair, Jesus, I I don't like. A part of me is sad that I missed this part of, um, pop culture and just the the social social scene and like how you dressed up. Um, but there's another half of me that's pretty happy that I did miss it. What can I can say is that just watching the video, it's just like. This old type of like rock, like punk rock type shit. It's like, it's refreshing in a way that it's like, dude, like they're just fucking having fun. He's just fucking making music and it's fucking slaps. And he's very honest. I That's something I do know. He's very honest about what he talks about in his songs. From what, I, from what I've listened to like in the more recent shit, he's extremely honest. And even back then... He's still just as honest. He still doesn't give a fuck. And I, that's what I love about Ronnie. Thanks for listening to my TED Talk. Regarding the actual song, like I said, I felt I, it slapped ass. Like, what can I say? It really, like, it, it had that, it wasn't, it's not the most intricate thing ever made, but it doesn't always have to be intricate, all right? Sometimes it, it just be just, like, just straightforward. This is what I'm giving you. If you don't like it, fuck off. And if you do like it, great. Um... It, that was just some classic Ronnie. But anyway, let's... Uh, now that I've done the review and reaction to the original I'm Not a Vampire, let's go to the revamped version. So this is the revamped version. And it seems a lot more like new Falling Reverse, like where the music video is very cinematic. Let's say that. The old music video was very 2000s, what you, I've seen in other bands. Like, and what other bands have done. This is new Fall in Reverse. At least in terms of the cinematography. Which I fucking love from Ron. And just Fall in Reverse in general. I just like the cinematography. And it's just awesome. Okay, so this is very different, right? We're opening with piano.
So this this is uh, sort of like the whole thing that I said earlier about him doing a reimagined version of Falling Reverse. This is like what I was saying, like a whole thing earlier where like he did like a reimagine of uh, Papa Roach Last Resort. Um, he's it seems like this is the same thing, but like with his own song this time because it's very slowed down, and um, I feel like it's going to be like a, you know like I've seen other artists do this where it's like you. When you, I, I I'll get to, I'll talk about it later. With me and whiskey seems to be my holy water. Ah! And mothers better lock your doors and hide your daughters. Oh, he's on piano. Wait a minute. Ah. I know who that is. That's a, that's a. I don't know if they're married. I don't. Know. I, his girlfriend. That's fucking uh, Paige from WWE. I think right. That's who he's dating and or married to now. I don't. I don't fucking know. But I'm pretty sure that's who this woman is. Looks like her. When did I become so cold for good? Who the hell's that? Oh, it's her. Church now. We're going to the well, I don't know, he's a vampire. Maybe not church. Well, I'm not a zombie, but I feel like one. To die yourself in those cold souls. Chemical days. My head is always spinning from. To die yourself in those. I thought she died. God, dude, his voice. I sink into your 
So that was Falling in Reverse, I'm Not a Vampire, revamped. So it actually turned out to be the same thing that I had mentioned earlier with him and how he did a reimagined version of Papa Roach, uh, Last Resort. And that song was beautiful when he did it. And it was just fucking headbanging awesomeness when Papa Roach did it. Now let me explain. When a song is extremely catchy and is really upbeat and stuff, you oftentimes lose what the song is about. Another example is Hey Ya by Outkast. When you hear that song, you think, Hey Ya! You think of that, right? But then you listen to when Sleep Token, when Vessel made the same thing, it, it sounded like a completely different song. And that's the same thing what happened here with I'm Not a Vampire Revamped. It captures so much more emotion when you just slow the song down and you let the lyrics do what they were written to do. Okay? Now, I think they're just... I think this version, in terms of if you're going for the emotion, you're really trying to hook that emotion in there. Obviously, this is the this is the bet this is the better. If you're going for like more upbeat, just having a great time, yay ha. Uh, the older I'm not a vampire is probably the better option. You don't want to be listen. You don't want to play this version out on the beach. Let's say that, um, <laughs> or maybe you do. I don't know, but. I prefer this version more just because I like those songs that make the, that just make everything bigger. And Ronnie does such a great job at that. You know? He in Last Resort and he does it here too. He makes the song bigger and more impactful with the orchestra, the piano he plays on. Just the raw emotion he brings out when he's singing the lyrics. Okay. Now, don't get me wrong. The older version slapped ass just as much. All right. That they're probably both going on my playlist. Don't 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 get it twisted. All right. I just prefer this version. Both of them have. It's, it's literally the same thing between the last resort thing. It's the same exact thing, I think, on how lyrics can get lost in the, in the, the music. They can get lost in translation sometimes. But when you strip things back, I, I bring up Sleep Token again. 
You look at um the sundowning, I believe. Yeah, sundowning. The room below where he cuts everything back and he's just playing piano. Then then you just really hear the lyrics and you hear the pain and emotion out of those songs. I'm and Ronnie does the same thing. Um he is an amazing singer. <laughs> like holy shit. I wish I could be as good as him. But alas, I won't be. <laughs> but I can try. Anyway, I love when he goes on piano. I love when he just makes music. And I'm excited to hear more of his older stuff. Because I've only really heard a lot of most of his newer stuff. Um, like Voices in My Head, Watch the World Burn, stuff like that. And it's really nice to go back and see like where he started, where he came from. I listen to... I have listened to, like, music from his old band. I can't remember what the hell it's called now. Es Escape the Fate. I've heard, like, a couple songs by them. But it's just nice. It's cool to see the evolution of Ronnie. All right? Even in these two videos. <laughs> like, you're literally... You get you put you get a side-by-side -side of them, okay? You get 2000s emo Ronnie. Well, they're both pretty emo. But you get the, the classic... Ronnie with the fucking high hair, the hairspray hair, the whatever the fuck you want to call it, scare hair, I don't know. The the classic emo Ronnie hair. And then you get the gothic. The the high high class emo of the revamped Ronnie in this video. And don't even get me started on the video. The video he just knows what the fuck he's doing when it comes to cinematography. I don't know who is like doing the directing i don't know if it is ronnie i don't know if he works with someone and they do they collaborate on pretty much all their all his songs when he makes videos but every music video i've seen by him like the newer stuff when they're adding like doing focused cinematography it's unparalleled but that's all i really got for you guys let me know what you think which version did you like better did you, do you prefer the older Ronnie or do you prefer the newer Ronnie? Let me know. Or do you like them both equally? That, that's also an option. But other than that, I hope you have a great night day, whatever time it is for you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.